channel so today's video is going to be a massive collective haul i've been meaning to do this video for a while now and i've had this bag full of items from b&m from poundland from home bargains pound stretches just a random collective haul i've had this bag in my room for probably over three weeks and every time i try to film this video something goes wrong so we're trying again today and i'm just showing you everything that i've got majority of majority of it is from b&m um but yeah let's hope i don't get distracted if you do like these type of videos and please do remember to give me a like and comment down below because it really helps me out as well as subscribe and click the notification button whilst you're down there because it helps me out again and it also notifies you when I upload a video. And without further ado, let's get into this. If you do want to check out my socials, they're always on the screen as well as linked down below. So, let's get into this big bag of goodies. Let's dive in. If I can remember everything that's from, I will tell you guys. If I can't, then you're just going to have to bear with me. So, the first thing in here, this is from Home Bargains. Now, I have actually recently signed up to FM. If you don't know what FM is, is it is a fragrance beauty home products kind of selling site not really a site company um i'll leave more information down below if you want to go and check it out i'll also leave my fm instagram name down below if you do want to go and check it out and buy some products off me but this is a large storage box for all of my samples when i get around to buying them because they are out of stock at the moment and it's really hard to get them back but yeah I picked this up, I think it was like 2 99 or something, so very inexpensive. Then from Poundland, I just picked up these bubble pouches, again, for the same reason, FM. You do need to buy all your own packaging and things like that, but it is really worth the money. Um, and it actually is free to sign up, so if you do want to sign up and you want more information, then leave me a comment down below. Um, I picked these up, 15 in a pack for a pound. These are beautiful purely for when I sell perfumes. No one has yet to have bought one off me, but yeah, use one of these because it's a bit safer. I then have picked up these. Now, I know Christmas is probably two and a half months away, but they've got their Christmas sections out now in a few of the shops, so I went in and picked up these from Pound Stretches. These are a four pack of Feather Baubles. I really like these, and I was looking for these last year and I couldn't find any on in my shops these were £2.49 and I just love them I've also really got into feathers since my granddad passed away I just think wherever there's feathers an angel is near so I got these then I've got a Christmas present in here um, this is actually for my nan um, my nan wanted me to pick this up um, I recently went out shopping with my nan and she picked one of these up and she wanted another one so I picked one of these up these are the relaxing bubble baths by Midnight Bloom in white fig and violet this is a christmas present like i said and um, this was from home bargains i think it was 129 or 199 something like that i then got um i think i got two of these one of them one i've got some lunch bags now these i'm actually using as my packaging for my fm business i just feel like they look a bit more sophisticated and professional um and they were a lot cheaper than to get them off amazon these were like one pound something um, I did only just get 10 because like I've said, I've only just started and I've only had one order. Um, so yeah, I picked those up just to start. I then have some more Christmassy bits. I picked up my Christmas um, gift, what are they called? Gift bows. These are, these were £1.50 each and I picked up two of them because they were actually the last of the stock. These were from B&M if I haven't already said. And my theme this year is gold and green, so that's why I picked those up. I then, from Poundland or B&M or Home Bargains, I'm not entirely sure, I picked up a phone case for my dad. He recently got a new phone and he hasn't got a phone case, so I picked this up. This will go to him before Christmas. Um, I'm not really a fan of the colour, but this was the only one they had for an iPhone 7, so I picked that up for him. That was like £1 something or maybe even cheaper, I'm not entirely sure. Then from B&M I picked up this, now I don't actually have the label on this but I think it was £6. It is a Santa harness for your dog. Now my dog doesn't actually fit this, he's too small, I should have read the label but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I probably will just keep this, give it to my neighbour's dog or maybe just keep it. 
and see if my dog grows into it. I don't know. But yeah, I picked that up. Obviously, my dog can't wear that. I then have got these six-pack small peel and seal padded envelopes. These were from B&M for £1.39. Again, FM related. I just picked up some envelopes to post off to people. Then from B&M, I also picked up a bed um, duvet set, which I can't show you because it's actually on my bed now. But if I can find the picture of what it is, then I'll put it on the screen. But it is called a super soft teddy fleece duvet set with pillowcases. It was £20 and it looks like this. I don't know how well you can see, but it's like a teddy fleece. And if you wanted for reference, this is a 200 by 200 centimetre duvet cover. It fits on my bed. My bed is a double... Um, and it just about fits, so it's a little bit too big, but that's fine. Um, next, from Pound Stretchers, I picked up a couple of cards. I think I've actually only got one in here, but I did pick up a few more. But this is actually for my granddad for his birthday. He's a fan of Mrs. Brown's, and I just picked that up. His birthday's not till December, but like I said, I always pick up cards relatively early for Christmas anyway. And for like birthdays and stuff like that. So again, with like Christmas cards, I did pick up some Christmas cards because Christmas cards in my local shop sell out really fast. I don't know if people just get them before the Christmas sales or anything like that, but I just picked them up just to be on the safe side. I got them both from Poundland, so I picked up these ones for like my family and friends. These are third pack of Christmas cards. I picked up these because they just looked a bit more modern and non-traditional than the ones that you normally find in Poundland. Um, and you get all different sizes in here. And I also picked up the school Christmas card pack because I do work as a teacher, um, as a nursery teacher, and I do like to give Christmas cards. Obviously, with COVID going on, I'm not sure if they'll take the Christmas card, but, you know, we're all sanitised and stuff like that before we go in. But I just like to give Christmas cards to my children. Then again, for, like, work um, reasons, I picked up loads of stickers for um, doing my books at Christmas time because working with children and being a nursery teacher you have to do observations and books like sticking in their profile books and things like that sticking all their work in so it becomes a creative obsession um so i do get loads of stickers around christmas time because christmas is my favorite season season is that is christmas the season or my favorite time of the year so i picked up these ones from home bargains it's just got three packs of different ones these were 99p I picked up two of the same ones and then oh, from the works I picked up this 45 pack of felt stickers for one pound I'll probably just use the Santas probably not the moustaches but I picked those up as well I then also picked up some bauble hooks in Poundland because these I will probably find when I go into my Christmas box that they're broken or they're just not there so you get 150 for a pound which I think is an absolute bargain then I picked up in the works some Seal Self bags. These are for FM for my samples to um, give to people. So yeah, I picked up some of them. Oh, pardon me. B&M, I picked up some hand gel. This is to refill the one that I have on my lanyard for work. Uh, I think it was £1.39 or £2, something like that. Then in Poundland? No, Home Bargains. I picked these up for my tree this year. I've never seen them in Home Bargains before. Um, and they are decorate, decorative scented sticks. So I've got one in frosted and vanilla and one in warm apple and cinnamon. You can hang these on your trees, wreaths and garlands. I will probably hang some on my tree, um, both upstairs and downstairs. And then probably just maybe even some on my presents if I fancy it. So I picked those up. They were a pound each. I then picked up some glue dots from the pound shop because this is what I use to stick my work with. I picked up some Millions Magic Straws milkshake. You just put milk into a cup, pop the straw in, and you've got a milkshake. It's so simple and easy. I actually picked these up for my brother, but he hasn't actually seen them yet. So he can have a milkshake when he wakes up from his nap. But yeah, pick these up. These were 39p, I believe. Then I've got my razors, which I mentioned in my last Poundland haul. Um, these are the raisins that I've been loving. They are from B&M. They are quite expensive. I think they're around £2.99 or £3.99 something like that. But you get six in a pack um, and they do really work well. They do have aloe vera on them so they're really soft on the skin as well. Oh, everything's going to fall. 
I then found these in B&M and I was gobsmacked. Now I have a Tassio machine and I love, love iced coffee from Starbucks, especially the caramel iced lattes from Starbucks. Yes, please. I only went and saw that they do iced caramel lattes from this coffee machine. It is a bit weird, the concept. You have to put ice into a cup, then the milk and the coffee comes out warm, like hot, and then it just melts the ice, so you actually have to double in ice afterwards. So, yeah, it's a bit confusing, but, yeah, these were £3 each, I believe, 3 99 each. I picked two of these up. I have already used the pack because they are limited edition, so I picked those up. I then picked up in Poundland a T-Zone Skincare Blackhead Fighting Facial Scrub because my skin has been really bad lately. I'm not sure if it's um, like hormones or stuff like that, but yeah, I bought this to try and help me get rid of the blemishes and spots on my face. I then got a new toothbrush, which I have kept in this bag since I bought this, and this was about two to three weeks ago because I wanted to show you guys before I tried this out. So this is called a spin brush and it's apparently meant to make your teeth white in seven days. So it says the initiative, innovative whiting bristle system, dual action brush head. I've never tried something like this, but it says it whitens your teeth in seven days. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna try that. Um, I got mine in a silvery glitter color. I'm not sure how well you can see, um, but I will try this out and let you know over on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram. Go and follow me so you can see what these are like. This was only £2.50 as well, which I thought was an absolute bargain for an electronic toothbrush. And then, last things I've got in here, there's this and one more thing. A half eaten pack of Biscoff biscuits, because why not? These are my absolute favourite biscuits. I get these every year around Christmas time because they're absolutely lovely. Um, and yeah, these are actually the bigger packs as well. I really don't like the smaller ones, so these are like the dual bigger packets because they just taste a bit better. So I picked those up. I think they were $1.99. I'm not entirely sure. And then the last thing that I've got in here is some makeup remover wipes. Um, makeup remover wipes? No, makeup remover cloths. These were £1.99 from B&M. And I picked these up purely because I have a... Um, face cleanser from Aldi that I got a, a little bit ago. Um, it's kind of like the Liz Earl but a cheaper version and I lost the cloth that that came with so I'm using these to take that off with when I open them obviously. Um, they came in white and pink but obviously I thought with makeup taking off white was probably not a good option so I went for the pink instead. And then the last thing in here I don't actually have them to show you but I do have the package packaging that it was in and it was just some simple cleansing facial wipes i get these in my local pound lab but they are two two pound a pack whereas this was like a pack for um two two pounds or 2.99 or something like that so yeah i picked up those and that is everything in my collective haul i hope you guys enjoyed and stick around for the next one because i'm actually going to be filming I'm actually going to be filming it right after this video as soon as I tidy up this mess I'm going to be filming a bake with me I've never filmed a bake with me ever on my channel before but I fancy baking cookies I did leave a poll on my Instagram but I don't think any of you actually replied to it but yeah I'm going to be filming cookies after this and I'm going to be filming it so we can see how bad of a baker I am at that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys